this is a commission that I've been working on. Well, it, it, uh, it took me a while to get started on it because of the shape of the canvas. And it, it's got to go in a, in a space uh, in a studio in Nashville, Tennessee, that is shaped to scale but larger than this uh, shape here. But this is going to fit on the wall and look right in the middle of the wall. And it's my first time ever building a, a more than four-sided canvas. I think it has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And so it's a hexagonal, but it's not a traditional hexagon. And uh, I just noticed this yesterday, which is kind of funny, is that the horizon line on that side is about an inch and a half from the corner. And over here, it's right on it. So something's not right. I don't know if the horizon's crooked. It's only an inch or so, which we say in the business is good enough for government work. So I hope it'll be all right. And I won't know till I get it hung up on the wall. It's all handmade, so we can't be too picky, I hope. I hope they could be happy about it. I sure am, so far. This is a mashup of two paintings that I've done in the past, which was, uh, one was called Hoons in a Yard, and the other is called The Tiny Giants of the Ancient Sea. So now I'm thinking about calling it Hoons on a Lawn and the Tiny Giants of the Ancient Sea, or something like that. It's set in Jamaica, so it's a Jamaican yard scene on the cliffs, and uh, like the one that you guys have, which is a view from the sea, and this is kind of from the yard looking out to the sea. But these are little huts, and there's, uh, there's big kind of pine trees that they have down there. I don't know what they're called. They're like uh, really leafy, not leafy, but anyway. They look like that, kind of. And then the lotus flowers in there. And the little boats. Yeah, so I'm just getting first coats on it now. And then, see, here's the color study. That's, this is not exactly this. It's changed a little bit. I moved some guys around in the back and I got rid of some of this. It didn't fit this exactly so I gotta get it cuts off about right there. Who's in a yard? What's up with the hoons? The hoons? What's up with them? Yeah. Yeah they are um, tiny little creatures that live in the forest of Endless Anon and their king is Galoob de Jamun He's a porcupine king. And when he got to the forest of Endless Anon, he found out he'd already been king there for 40 years. So he was ushered right in to his position. But he is the king of all hoons. And this is a early version of him that I'm repeating for this particular picture. But yeah, it's all... I just got to get it to Nashville by January 10th. <laughs> which is another in the great of the Herculean tasks of being an artist, of all the things you have to do on the low low end of the uh, financially successful art world, which is exactly where I like to be. I'm going to stay there. So you're going to deliver the art yourself? Yeah, I deliver it myself. Uh, I have to ride it in a pickup truck. It's about an inch too wide to go between the wheel wells, so I'm going to have to build a little jig in there and slide it in, because it can't get, if, if the canvas gets the wind on it, like in a vehicle, it'll totally flat, I mean, it'll lose its tautness completely and just be no good. So I have to put it between, like, two um, pieces of plywood or something and wrap it up real well keep it safe. So I had to think about this and go over it over it in my head before I do it to get it 
planned out. Then when I go to do it, it's like it's like the people that shoot baskets, you know, over and over and over in their mind, and they found that they are just as good at it as uh, people who do actually shoot baskets every day. <laughs> it's the Gulub de Jamun. This is a, a variation that um, was made by Amelia Hamilton who does the Mug Monsters. And this is a version of the original Gulub de Jamun, which was a uh, Russian tea cozy that also could be worn as a hat that uh, uh, Bob Seven had. Mr. Bob Seven had it. And, uh, and then uh, I started drawing a picture of it as like that guy there, and uh, that's how he came to be the king of all hoons, plus mixed with a mispronunciation of the famous uh, Indian dessert, Gulab Jamun, which I may still be mispronouncing. It uh, was pronounced Gulub de Jamun by Jason Krekel, and I immediately wrote it down in my notebook and then paired it with the porcupine tea cozy <laughs> and that's how we got Galoob to Jamun, king of all hoons. Mm -hmm.